for you guys. And here we have doggy coin, um, crazy doggy coin. Um, here we developed a pattern last night as well as the volume matched up and I could see it in the tape. I was reading the tape and the way the volume was going and this was just a fantastic setup. And um, it made sense on many different areas. And if anybody that knows me, I trade both mathematically and also, um, uh, you know, I, I have great tape reading experience uh, in the marketplace over 30 years. So, uh, you know, when I see something like this, it's very easy for me to go over and go after. Now, it's very logical that we're going to go from the 0 0.025 uh, and under back to above 0 0.035 and over. Um, so that's what the, the trade is. I know it spiked all the way up to there and then pulled back and you've got a lot of insanity in the marketplace right now, which I don't like because the Wall Street bets guys, uh, you know, these are, I, I don't know what to say. Um, I, I rather trade against institutions, at least they're logical. <laughs> I could figure out there the, you know, what's going on there. This is all emotional, um, insanity and so it's very it's kind of unsettling and that's one of the reasons you know I, I took a lot of I've got a lot of cash on the sidelines because of the market is this exuberant craziness so I got to keep um, you know my powder dry and and, and wait um, so I took out of a lot of investments and I, I just basically have a lot of cash on the sideline that I normally would you know make more you know trades or uh, Put more money out there and I'm not doing that so that's kind of telling me that I don't like what I'm seeing in the marketplace uh, anywhere uh, and it's simply because of uh, the you know when you see insanity like this, this is not a good sign uh, what but uh, what's another thing I want to talk about oh we have two different traders here and I keep getting messages please don't ask me about Cornex I don't know anything about Cornex yes I understand that I'm an admin uh, but I'm just a trader and I make trades and I'm not a wizard, <laughs> you know, don't, are you a wizard? What kind of wizard am I? I'm not a wizard. Thanks Bryce for uh, telling people that. Um, but <laughs> I'm not a wizard. Um, and if I was, what kind of wizard would, would I be? Mr. Wizard or like Harry Potter wizard? <laughs> oh, people are funny. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not a wizard. Um, uh, but thank you for that. Uh, I am very experienced in my trading and I, I'm pretty good at what I do. Uh, but there are two of us here. There is Roger and he has a completely different style and he does the Cornex so you'd have to ask him and he's the other admin on that. So please keep that in mind. I know a lot of you are new and I welcome you to the group but um, you know, um, uh, to totally two different trading styles. Maybe I can incorporate some of his trades if he uh, if we talk and uh, uh, he gives me the explanations of them. I'll put them in, in the videos even. Uh, so that's an option in the future we might do. Um, but here we are with the doggy coin, uh, looking for those numbers above. I'm very unemotional. I, I don't uh, need to uh, go insane and so forth. I don't like uh, the type of uh, sentiment in the marketplace, I guess you can say right now. Um, but Let's get beyond that. Let's look at a trade that I had on uh, XRP uh, that was from, um, when was that for? Uh, what was that? Uh, last month. Uh, this one really pisses me off. This was a fantastic trade. And uh, thanks to my government deciding to put in enforcement action out against XRP, they started having exchanges delist this. Now, if people remember from last month, we had a trade on this that was also over 40%. Um, uh, 10X uh, reduction value, uh, similar to the trade that we have here. Am I talking to you in math terms? Um, whoa. All right, don't do that, sorry. Um, but this A to X and the way this played out right here, if you guys remember, for those who were here, um, this was a fantastic trade. And if you want it just for a short-term trade, it was an over 40% return with under 24 hours. And that hit almost perfectly on a time block basis. Um, and uh, then from there, I, I said, if, you know, I was going to hold 25% of it for uh, above 
0.50. Um, and the reason why is because it was very statistically likely that we would go back to this point. But unfortunately, my exchange decided to delist this, in which I would like very much the SEC to, and Clayton of the SEC to be investigated. This seemed very, uh, uh, it, it seemed very pointed, like it was done on purpose. And I'm not okay with that. And uh, there should be an investigation to see what happened there. Because, uh, you know, a lot of retail traders got hurt because of that. They pushed them out of the marketplace. And that wasn't okay. Um, for those of you who were able to hold in your wallets and so forth, I know you took it off exchange. Um, fantastic. You know, we did hit the target up here, ultimately. Only took a month and a bunch of insanity. But, uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, not very pleased with my government and um, you know when your government is trying to fuck over um, a marketplace uh, and doing taking enforcement actions like this for something that's been around for eight years eight years and the way they went about doing it I'm not okay with that and there's, there definitely should be an investigation uh, very corrupt and I don't like this kind of corruption and, and the Wall Street bets going against and burning an institution the way they did. This is the um, the karma. This is what you get. There's always an equal and opposite reaction in the universe. And this is just mathematical. So by them screwing over the people with stuff like this, what happens is the people go over and screw you back. And uh, it, it's very uneven the way it occurs, but uh, everything balances out in, in nature and uh, and it probably will balance out in the in the future as well, but uh, to the other side. But that's life. Um, anyway, hit the target. Fantastic. Um, uh, you know, that was just one of those I told you so type of things, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I'm being stupid now. Let's go back to Bitcoin over here. We are entering an interesting area that's a time block that should uh, have selling occur in it. Um, I don't mind buying back uh, my hedges, and I started doing that. I could have sold them, you know, and started trying to trade it, but I, I don't really care. I'm just going to hold. Uh, I'm looking to put more money going longer term into Bitcoin in the future uh, after the selling period because I'm looking for something to occur longer term that I told you about in the other video. And we could get an, a really big move. Um, going over and looking at it all the way up to numbers in mathematically that kind of point to the $118,000 level. And I'll go more over that maybe in another video um, later on sometime in the next month or so um, as to why you know I would be looking for this. This is actually natural progression and this is statistical in nature. 118 thousand let me see what the number is I think uh, 51 118 851 was the number that I had and um, so that would be the next logical top area uh, you know of course is Bitcoin cryptocurrency so who knows we'll see um, but that would be the next after this selling period of time that we have here and however much it pulls back and I'll look to see for more clarity after prices move uh, February 3rd is the start of this block. So we still got, what, three days? Um, so um, we'll see. Uh, other than that, that's the video for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, keep in mind what I said. And um, yeah, I have nothing to do with Cornex, and I'm not a wizard. Please don't PM me for that. <laughs> have a great week. Talk to you next time.